Greetings everyone! You're watching the channel Aviation Obsession. Are you ready to discover the true legend of fighter aircraft? Meet the Aten Warthog, a fierce and powerful machine that has been dominating the skies for over 40 years. Known as the Tank Killer, this aircraft is feared by enemies and respected by allies. With its unmatched maneuverability and deadly armament, the Aten Warthog has proven itself in countless battles and conflicts. So, in today's video, we are going to talk about the Aten Warthog's features and history. Don't miss this exciting video and be ready to be amazed by the power of this legendary aircraft. But before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon for future uploads. Without further ado, let's get started. The Aten Thunderbolt II, sometimes referred to as the Aten Warthog, is a true fighter aircraft legend. The Warthog, which first appeared in the mid-1970s, was a result of the AX program, which was launched by the United States Air Force in 1967. The U.S. Air Force was seeking a close air support fighter with the ability to destroy lines of Soviet tanks. The A-10 was chosen for this operation not because of its speed but because of its durability and maneuverability. It is crucial to remember that it is a strong weapon delivery system that can move well at low speeds and heights. It is also accurate and long-lasting. The aircraft can operate in low ceiling and low visibility situations for lengthy periods of time while loitering close to active fighting zones. The broad combat radius and short takeoff and landing capabilities allow for operations close to the front lines. The pilots may operate their aircraft in the dark by using night vision goggles. Regarding its performance, the Warthog's first combat deployment didn't involve Soviet tanks but rather the Persian Gulf War in 1991. During that fight, the Warthog's legendary 30mm GEU-8 Avenger rotary cannon was employed to annihilate Iraqi armor units. The A-10 has participated in nearly every subsequent American post-Cold War engagement since the Persian Gulf War. This includes Kosovo in 1999 during NATO's Operation Allied Force in Iraq and Afghanistan and against ISIS since at least 2014. The Warthog is famous for its powerful cannon as well as for having several fail-safes and redundancies that it can use in any given fight. The aircraft is structurally designed to keep flying even after serious damage. It is rumored to be capable of flight with just one engine and elevator, as well as with just one wing and half of its tail. Additionally, the cockpit of the aircraft, also referred to as a titanium bathtub, shields pilots from anti-aircraft weapons up to 23 mm in diameter. It seems crucial that the Warthog be capable of much more than just firing its cannon. It features 11 external hardpoints for hauling fuel tanks, missiles, explosives, and electronic countermeasure equipment. With the ability to carry up to 24,500 pounds of bombs, four 2,000-pound bombs, or six AGM-65 Maverick air-to-ground missiles, the A-10 Warthog is equipped to handle a wide range of frontline tasks. The A-10 Warthog is a formidable aircraft known for its incredible speed, range, and service ceiling. With a top speed of around 450 knots, or 518 miles per hour, and a range of over 2,240 nautical miles, the Warthog can quickly and easily reach its target destination. Its service ceiling of approximately 45,000 feet allows it to operate at high altitudes, providing a strategic advantage in battle. All these capabilities make the A-10 Warthog a formidable force on the battlefield. Specifically, the A-10 was unable to survive against sophisticated anti-aircraft systems used by nations like China and Russia. The Warthog excels against low-tech adversaries with weak air defense, such as ISIS and the Taliban. The aircraft would need extra support to deal with the Chinese and Russian systems. An idea that has been suggested is to pair the aircraft with air defense suppression drones, enabling the Warthog to fly safely. To destroy enemy targets, the A-10 could use either the Maverick missile or the small diameter bomb. It is estimated that approximately 280 A-10s are still in service with the U.S. Air Force, Air Combat Command, the Air Force Reserve and the Air National Guard, and Congress is set on keeping that number high. Although a lot of work is being done, it is still unclear if the A-10 will be used in combat until 2040 or if the U.S. Air Force will prevail and retire the aircraft before its useful life has run out. The A-10 Warthog, despite its supremacy, is showing its age and is not as modern or stealthy as the F-22 or F-35. However, its ability to defeat tanks is undeniable. The U.S. Air Force proved that the close air support mission Planet 10 Thunderbolt II 
which has been in use for more than 40 years, is capable of taking out modern tanks with armor upgrades with its potent gun. A new statement stated that the Nevada Test and Training Range hosted this first ever test on February 14, 2022. In each test flight, two attendees engaged two dummy ERA-equipped main battle tanks with armor-piercing incendiary rounds. The pilots changed the attack parameters and direction to evaluate the weapon's effectiveness against the heavily armored targets. Analysts were able to establish the battle damage caused to the tanks and establish that the tanks were rendered inoperable by post-shot analysis of video, photo images, and visual inspection of the targets. According to Major Kyle Akisson, commander of the 422nd TS Attend Seas Division, a typical Attend gun employment requires 120 rounds which means the Warthog is capable of engaging fire on 9 to 10 targets before exhausting its gun munitions. The ATEN's 30mm ammo allows it to engage and destroy around 40 armored vehicles, making it a powerful weapon against large enemy forces. The test gathered data on the efficiency of the 30mm cannon rounds as well as the AGM-65L Maverick and AGR-20E Advanced Precision Kill Weapons system against armored vehicles. According to First Lieutenant Christopher Earl, 59TS Attend Seas Operations Test Analyst, this has been a continuous test effort since the concept was established in 2020. Now that it has been demonstrated to be effective, we will focus on collecting more information and testing various anti-armor bomb types currently in the Air Force arsenal. The Attend is good at quickly attacking in battle, and this test showed that even in a dangerous area, the Attend can still cause a lot of damage to enemy tanks, as we come to the end of this video, we hope you have a better understanding of the capabilities and strengths of the A-10 Warthog, from its powerful GU-8 Avenger cannon to its impressive speed, range, and service ceiling, this aircraft has proven to be a formidable force in the skies. Despite its age, the Warthog continues to be a valuable asset for the United States Air Force and has proven its worth in various combat operations. As we look to the future, the A-10 Warthog remains a testament to the ingenuity and perseverance of American engineering. It is a powerful aircraft with many capabilities that make it a formidable opponent in battle. Even though it's been around for many years, it still has a lot to offer and can hold its own against the modern aircraft. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button and remember to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to leave your comment below if you have any suggestions or a certain topic to discuss for the next video.